What's good, world? Welcome back to another great episode of the Dirty Harvard Podcast. Yep, it this podcast started from my band, you know, pretty much me. Uh, I'm an artist, singer, songwriter, entertainer, drummer by trade. Literally, I, that's how I started off as a drummer. And coming from the world of drumming led me to the world of artistry, becoming a pretty much an international entertainer. But this special video right here I wanted to get right into is how... People like myself, um, and also, you know what I mean, Gilly, I mean, people like him, you know, uh, I don't know if you guys have heard of their podcast, A Million Dollars Worth of Game, and he spoke on how his legacy, well, not his legacy, but how he get money, um, and I'll let him explain more on what he means by what he's talking about. Let's be for real. How many motherfuckers call us? on a type of time. Yo, man, we gotta get some money together. All the big m****s, name them. All the big black m****s, be on our fucking phone. Fuck How many of them m****s we got money with? None of them. We get money with the white people. So when it come down to it, if you know, damn, I can get some money with these m****s. They don't do that. But you don't get money with to me, you bitch ass m****. Fuck out of here. I get money with the white folks. Yeah. A lot of I mean, I'm gonna I'm, I'm stop it there. You guys can go and check out more of that. Oh, sorry about that. You guys can go check out more of that. Um, I'm, I'm gonna leave it there. And the reason why, because I feel him, you know, um, I would have been, you know, I think we can make a lot more money together. You know what I mean? But hey, this is just the way it is. And that's how I've got on. I mean, 80% of my crowd, people that pays for my music, that buys it, that contracts me to come out to shows are white people. And there's no shade to blacks or Latinos or anybody else. It's just that they're like the ones that support. They actually have no problem of paying people for their worth. And that's the crazy part. They'll make deals with you. I mean, yeah, people are going to come in with this. Oh, you doing business with the white man. Oh, all this black power. You know, bro, this is just real life. Just real life. Fuck racism. Fuck all that shit. Honestly, this is just real life. No motivation at hand. Real life, people. If I can feed my family across the country, li literally living and touring across the country, and 99% of people that show up to my concerts, my live shows, who are putting, helping me put food on my child's table, and white people, no lie. It is what it is. But hey, that's my segment for today. You know, that's my life. If you feel like you've seen this and you don't feel like it was right, you don't feel like, you know, you feel like black men can't make money with each other, comment below and maybe I'll do another video. If you feel like, bro, you're absolutely right. I've made money like that. You know, other black men make money like that with working with white people or other cultural. They've supported their business, you know, and it's sad to say that, but it's true. White people support my business, you know. Yes, I have black people that support the business, but they're more so friends and family. Yes, I have um, Latino people that support the business, but they're a small number and it's still growing, you know. It's still growing. But on a m major scale, it is, you know, white people that comes out to my concerts, that comes out to these 300 capacity you know, restaurant bars, you know, entertainment bars, entertainment spots that I'll perform at. And, you know what I mean? It's, it's, I can't help it, but I like it. You know what I mean? I can't help it but to do what I know how to do best. And I am not going to hold up my fucking check just because somebody feels like, oh, you should be making money with black people. Well, they don't want to make money with me, nigga. They don't want to fucking make money together. Why? Because one nigga trying to get on another dude. He's trying to loop this fucking deal. He's trying to scam that fucking motherfucker. Over. I mean, just too much. A bunch of crabs in a barrel of bullshit. And every experience I've had in working with my culture inside the business, as far as coming up, it's been, it hasn't been that good. It, I met out of probably five black dudes, two of them were like cool business people, which is sad. But out of five white cats, four of them were cool business people. You get the ratio here? So comment below on what you feel, how you feel about that, and we out. Dirty Harvard.
Chia, Gas Mask Tribe.